Hello everybody, Jerome Wright here, and once again you're joining me on my Jerome Wright channel. Alright, um, in this video I have, I just did a video a few moments, a moments ago regarding um, stained glass, um, art deco glass, um, glass on a um, Pinterest, um, and how art, true art, is truly symbolizing who mankind genetically is and their genetic evolution here on our planet. Um, it makes me angry because a lot of this glass, a lot of this knowledge is an ancient rooted knowledge where it details how not just artists, what I mean, people think about it. Artists are not doctors. Artists are not people that could actually cure a cancer um, or save a dying person medically through their knowledge, a, a, a meaning their hands-on knowledge, but through their knowledge they could. What gets me upset is that there is a select group of people, ancient rooted religion, ancient rooted royalty, and through these these organizations, which are they think that they know what they're doing and they don't know what they're doing, but all they're doing is contributing to genetically altering the being of that of mankind. The only people that truly have the understanding, and if they even have the understanding behind this, is ancient rooted religion and ancient rooted royalty. Look at them. These people protect their bloodlines through virginity, through the association with each other, and through their cult like shrines that they continue to create and put glass in their buildings similar to what I'm going to describe here. You look at this image and you probably say to yourself, what in the world is this? Ask yourself, again, ask yourself, what in the world is this? When I look at this, I, I see a picture board of reality. This is an ancient fish, it has a man stuck in, I mean, it has his man's leg stuck in its mouth. You know what this is saying? That this ancient fish delivered this man onto land. Meaning that this fish is now this man. I mean, people, what what is so hard to understand about that? It's just elementary that that is what is being described here. Look at this. Elementary. Here, let me break it down a little bit more for you. I know through my paranormal experience and encounter that through the fish of our world, the sea of our world, these, these creatures came man. Not the image of man as we know them now, but through an evolution of man that is, that is not even included in our history, which tells you that our being, the history of our being, is much more further back than anyone can possibly ever realize. A suppressed knowledge of who we truly are. A period of man that is not even in our history books. So what we are today, you have to take that back, triple back in time to our true origins, which is from that of the sea. Artists know this fish telling you, this artist is telling you his knowledge of it. And there's others knowledge, I mean, other, other paintings that say the same exact thing. I can show you this over and over and over again. At this fish, there's the fish's head showing you that he's delivering this 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 man onto land. But you know, at his tail, if you come back here, here's our original form back here that this artist captures. This is a reptilian man. If you take the image and turn it, the head of a reptilian being appears. Let me see if I have this on this here. I can do it here. Let me turn this over for you so you can see the reptilian guy. See the reptilian man there, people? You see that? There's his chin. There's his bottom lip. 
There's the teeth in his mouth. There's his top lip. There's his nostril. There's his nose. There's his eye. There's his reptilian-like antennae. Here's his head. You see this? A reptile. We evolved from fish, so logically the first um 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 image I mean um being of man that appear on water, I mean on land from water would be a reptilian. And then go on into the image of man. And if you look in the darker areas here, from reptilian beings came that of our ape ancestor. And if you look in the darkened areas, you will see the darkened faces of those creatures as well. People, you have been had. You have been mistaught everything about who you are under the guise of religion, those that have lied to you, kept the truth from you, gave you something divine to believe in, to suppress you from seeing the truth. Again, our planet Earth is a water world. The body of water, what is it, like 85% body of water? So let's go back to the earliest of times. It was probably completely at that point covered completely in water, meaning that the only microorganisms that existed were existed through on that of underwater. We evolved out of that system, out of that process. We are now still living in an aquarium. So in essence, we are still reptiles because we are in an aquarium. Our world is an aquarium. So we are reptilians here today, not in the sense of what we were taught for them to be, but I mean, but from what we evolved from the people, we evolved from out of the oceans of our water and artists are showing you from the body of fish came the first reptilian man. And ultimately emerged onto land and they got through the, in the darkened areas. They don't go out and show you the ape and the Africans and all of that. They cut that process up because you will be able to see it. But between the reptilian, between the body of the fish and the reptilian man and between the Caucasian looking or Neanderthal looking like guy is the blackness, the dark and the murky area. The Hindus talking about through the murky waters evolved the lotus and all of this shit. All of this is discussing all of it. All ancient rooted history on our world is talking about how through the body of fish came reptilian man, came our ape and African ancestors, and, and um, um, our, our Egyptian ancestors, our Asian ancestors, and through on to how Caucasian came. This is it. What more do you need to understand? My problem with all of this, my problem, and it, and it actually has, like I said, three steps here with the blood, showing you these beings right here. You know, the problem that I have again with all of this is that you have ancient rooted religion and ancient rooted real, ro royalty playing God on, on the rest of the world. These people playing God on the rest of the world and knowing damn well all along what is going on meaning that if you have a, a a child suffering from an element or if you have a grandmother suffering from an element or, or children at birth suffering from elements they know they have the knowledge and the history behind what is causing this and then what makes me mad is that you have your bona fide loved ones which may be a doctor or a nurse that are truly trying with all of their passion given their entire lives to trying to cause, a, I mean, find a cure for cancer or trying to, to make something happen for the better being of mankind and you have assholes in the form of ancient rooted religion and ancient rooted royalty that know all along, have the key, the combinations to unlocking these secrets for those that are truly trying to do for the better good of mankind, they're standing in the way. This is why you see me releasing these videos 
back to back in the way that I am and exposing those before your eyes. When are you going to wake up and realize that what I am producing here is reality? My name is Jerome Wright. I'm going to end this video there. I'll put a little bit more in writing. But this is another stained glass that is discussing how through the body of fish came the likenesses of man. And it even has the reptilian head showing you there. In fact, let me bring that in closer so you can get a, a good look at that reptilian. So that there's no mistaking that that is a reptilian head. I don't, you should be able to find this image online. Uh, let me see so you can see that reptilian head. I'm getting a blur here, but I'm hoping that you... Let me turn it here like this. Matter of fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw it out for you. Take a look at it. How many minutes do I got? Because if I run this over, it's going to shut down. I got 10... 50. All right, let me draw this out right quick for you. Let me get my marker so that there's no mistake with what I'm putting here. People, you can't you can't dismiss the fact that everything that I, if you thought about it and thought about it, I mean, you don't really have to think long and hard to know that everything that I'm stating is is is, is reality. If our planet is 85% water now, back then in prehistoric times it would have been much more water than there's something else to all of this too that, that, that needs to be realized. But I, I'm just going to leave you with that thought. But we evolved from water, so our first likenesses of appearing from water would have been of that like that of your Gill Man. They're making these cartoons, I mean these um these these movies of Gill Man. Remember those that 1930 um, movie with the creature from the Black Lagoon and all of that? People, this was us. This is reality of who we are. They took and made Hollywood blockbusters out of something that is reality. The creature from the Black Lagoon, um, the Gill Man, all of this that captured your mind is reality, a reality check of who we truly are. Rather than give that information to um, the medicine field to let them know who we are to cure who we are they take it and sell it back to you as a, ho a Hollywood blockbuster there's let me see here this is what that creature is looking like on the tail of that fish a reptile your ancestor right there and this guy, the artist that created this stained glass, did it. Not only that, Da Vinci has done it. The, the, I can do the same thing with Bartholomew at Da Vinci's Last Supper. All of this is appearing because on the table in front of um, Bartholomew is a great white shark. And at the tail of the great white shark's um, um, tail is, is an ape, an image of an ape by Leonardo Da Vinci in The Last Supper. See my video on this. People, you have been bamboozled in a way that you should be angry. My name is Jerome Wright. I'm going to end this video there. Is there anything else I want to add with this? All right, I'm going to cut it short with that. I'm glad that they only gave me 15 minutes to make these videos because I'm seeing faces all down through here, but I'm going to let this go. But again, when you see art like this or any other art that looks questionable and you're saying to yourself, what would inspire an artist to to make this kind or create this type of art and i'm talking about we have our world has some very impressive art well people behind the scenes are the multi-dimensional messages that these people are symbolizing in this work that they know who we are and these glasses these 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 these, these glasses are windows are dimensional doorways for existences to pass through and pass out of just like I can identify for you what is here, these dimensional existence, spirit, spirits, through death and through life, coming in and out, to and from, I like to say, know what this is symbolizing. These people are paying homages to that.
This is what this is all about. And it goes on and on and on and on, but I'm going to end it there, people. Thank you. My name is Jerome Wright, and thank you for joining me on my, on my channel.